Thank you, Anna. Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, it's John Galvin from Fortuna Syndication. John has some great news this week, for he has found a speedster on the racetracks. Could you be one of his new owners? Welcome back to John Galvin. G'day, Jared. Good G'day. evening, John. Yeah, Jared. I'm really excited to be here tonight. We've got a wonderful opportunity to put in front of your viewers shortly. You are having a wonderful run of luck, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, you uh, purchase horses and you syndicate them and they race. Not only are you selling horses really great guns, mm -hmm. but they're winning races for you. Yes, indeed. Well, Prince Henry that we talked about last time I was yeah. on the show, he, he's now fully sold. So We only uh, had one chance to talk about him. Yeah, yeah. So Just like that. Yeah, well done to the viewers yeah. of this show that came aboard and took a share. What was it about Prince Henry that uh, attracted the viewers or something? I think just a, a lovely pedigree and a great walking horse. We showed that walking clip of him uh, parading and uh, he really caught people's imagination, I think. Gosh. So he's, had... he's now fully in work and will be trialling in November. And what you're telling me is you've got another beauty all lined up, is that right? I have indeed, I have indeed. Well, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's explain to, just in case, uh, out of the give. Out of our 7 million viewers, there may be one that don't know who John, <laughs> John Gilbert is. John, so away you go. What is Fortuna Syndications? Well, essentially what we do, Jared, is, is make people's dreams come true. And uh, if I could say to your viewers, can you imagine this, being at a race course like Ellerslie or Trentham or Rickerton or Royal Randwick in Sydney or Flemington in Melbourne or Hong Kong or Singapore even, and you're a shareholder in a horse that's going to race in a million dollar plus race. Wow. Imagine that. Mm. And, uh, you know, we've done this, Stuart. We've won a million dollar race at Rickerton with one of our horses. We ran second in a, t a sorry, third in a two million dollar race at Ellerslie. We've run second in a uh, big race, a million dollar plus race in Singapore. And the people, just like your viewers, are shareholders in these horses that p participated in those big races. The average person goes, oh, I think I'll buy a race horse. Yep. It's fraught with danger, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's about, let's say, $100,000 to buy a, a, a really nice horse and about $30,000 a year to race that horse. It's a lot of money. And so what we do is we go out and select really nice horses and then package them up so people can take a 10% or a 5% or even a 2.5% share on one of our horses. And still get the same thrill. <laughs> exactly. So why don't we watch examples of this big thrill? Let's look at... Uh, a uh, wonderful Singapore race, first of all. Yes, well, of course, last time I was on the show, Jared, we showed Manny Pacquiao winning in Singapore. Wasn't that a great one? <laughs> it yeah. was. Yeah. Well, this is a really another nice victory for another horse called Lord Roberto. John, let's cross to Singapore and see Lord Roberto win another race. Here on the turn with 420 metres to go. Greg Cheen winding him up here. One of the outsiders. He's gone three in front from Lord Roberto. And then, yes, Baba Borsellino down the outside battling for the back. Big Cat Rhapsody, Bowie Knife and Duds the way about 10 off the front runner, Casino King. Lord Roberto and Lisa all press on the outside. Looming large now with 150 metres to go. Big Cat Rhapsody Duds the way down the outside, but it's all Lord Roberto and he's surging away for a big win. Lord Roberto's going to win it, pulling away by two. Casino King gave a ton of cheek. He's run second, third. That's you the never lose the thrill, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. It's yes. a great thrill. And uh, I know the owners and that horse were just so excited to see him win again. Now, many of our viewers will be watching that and saying, how can I own one of these horses? And you've got a brand new horse. Now, how did you find this horse? Okay, now this one is a real departure for us, and that's why I'm really excited about bringing this opportunity to your viewers. All of the horses we bought in the past, we've either bought at yearling sales or ready-to-run sale. This horse is a proven trials performer. In oh. other words, he's been to the trials, he's had a full preparation, been to the trials, and ran a very close second, as we'll see from the video clip that we'll watch in a moment. So what you're saying, most, well, 99.9% .9 of all the horses, they're untested when you buy them. They've Correct. just got great pedigree, and you can tell by looking at them, they're great athletes. Mm -hmm. This one, you know, is, is a great runner. Hasn't been proven on race day, but it's been proven on trials day. Wow. And that tells us a lot more about this horse than the ones we normally buy. So he was in a trial, came a very close second. Let's have a look at him, shall we? Indeed. A little way then to Kashika, followed back then by Alamosa and Castledale. They go to the 200 metres, Pelletier near the running rail, just alongside of it now, Metra Anjou. They've gapped the others, headed by uh, Kashika, and with it there too as they gallop their way down. Uh, the leader here, though, on the inside is uh, narrowly at the line. 
Penalty had just got there from Metro Anjou. A distance away then was Tai Nui. Oh. Then came Kashika. Close race, wasn't it? So what we see about this horse, Stuart, is he's a real staying type, but he's also got good speed, and that's very critical for mm. the modern stayer in today's racing to, to be able to run over distance, but also have good speed as well. Now, the other thing about this horse, Stuart, is we're going to take him straight to Singapore to race. Mm. Uh, well, no mucking around. No mucking straight around. Straight to Singapore. And as an unraced horse going straight to Singapore to race, when he first starts, he'll be starting in a $65,000 race. Here in New Zealand, in his first race, he can only race for $7,000 of prize money. And we're going to be aiming this, this horse to these multi-million dollar races that I talked about before, in particular the Singapore Derby, and f which is a $1.2 million race, and then after that the Singapore Gold Cup, which is a $1.3 million race. Mm -hmm. We've got to get him to Singapore and build him up through the grades first, but they are our eventual aims. What's the pedigree? Okay, he is by Maitre Anjou, who's a son of the mighty Montjou, one of the great stallions of the world who sadly passed away not so long ago at, at uh, quite a young age. Um, and he's out of a winning mare, a winning catbird mare called Flying Finish, uh, who won over 1900 metres. This horse has got a pedigree with lots of staying background in it, and that is why we've acquired him, so that we can aim him at some of the big long distance races in Singapore. When you say staying power, he could be a Melbourne Cup winner. Indeed he could. Whoa, Indeed he that could. be wonderful? If, if he's good enough, if he proves himself in Singapore, and we think he's good enough to bring down to Melbourne to have a go at the Melbourne Cup or the Caulfield Cup one day, we'll certainly do so. And I also brought that up, John, because it's not far away, the Melbourne Cup, is it? That's right. <laughs> the first Tuesday in November. Yeah. You've got a wonderful um, way of um, picking winners, John. Can you come on the program in two weeks' time to give us some tips? What I'd like to do is come on that program and outline a betting strategy yeah. for the Melbourne Cup wow. for your viewers. Well, that's for next week. But now what we want to know is if you want to be a member of this uh, the syndicate for this, uh, uh, this brand new horse, we haven't got a name as yet, what's it going to cost to buy in? Okay, a 5% share is $5,700. $5,700, 5%. Now that includes all the initial costs mm -hmm. and includes the cost of getting the horse to Singapore. Excellent. And then there's the your ongoing charges. And then there's ongoing charges of $150 a month, per which, month. which commence in December. Mm -hmm. And they cover all of the ongoing costs associated with training the horse. Now, a 10% share is yeah. twice that, 11400 Yes. And 300 a month. And we'll also do a 2.5% share at $2,850 and wow. $75 per month. We've also, one thing I didn't mention, we've also had him fully vetted. So he's had uh, endoscopic examination to make sure that his wind is perfect, which it is. He's also had full x-rays of knees, fetlocks, tendons, and he's uh, all 100% clear. Great. Now what we need to make clear, John, is how do we get hold of John Goldman? Indeed, indeed. So three ways of doing that. The best way is direct on my cell phone number 021-921-460. 921460. And then there's the 0800 number, which is 0800 100 667. Know them off by heart now. And of course, there's the Fortuna website, just uh, Google Fortuna syndications, or the full website is www.fortuna nz.com. And all of the details about Fortuna and its horses. Everything's there. It's all there. Excellent. Yeah. John, we're going to see you in two weeks' time. We're going to be talking Melbourne Cup and also talking about double jeopardy again. Indeed. Thank you, John. And more wins in Singapore. <laughs> okay, thanks, John.